High blood pressure is not a good thing, especially in young adults. In a stunning new report, it says it's an early sign of heart disease that can come later in life. Dr. Kevin Campbell here this morning with more. Doc, good to see you. Good to see you, Phil. This, this new report came out, what, about a week ago? It did. It was in the Journal of the American Medical Association. It was a very important report. It looked at blood pressure in young adults as early as 18 mm. and how that affected their risk of heart disease later in life. And it was very, very uh, significant. It showed us that if you have high blood pressure early in life and it continues to escalate and you don't get it well treated, right. your risk for heart disease can be four times that your peers. What number are we talking about? When you say high blood pressure, everyone says, uh, I don't really know what that means, you know? They, they understand it, but they don't know the number. For me, I like to see my patient's blood pressure 140 over 80 or lower. New guidelines just came out by the American College of Cardiology that are letting that creep up just a little okay. to 140 over 90, but I still think the lower you can push your blood pressure down, the better you are in terms of preventing damage to blood vessels and heart arteries and that sort of thing. Why do you think it, it's, this, this new report, why do you think it it shows the possibility of a heart attack later in life. I think that what we know from blood pressure issues to start with is that they cause damage to the inside of our blood vessels, especially the heart blood vessels. These blood vessels then can form blood clots that completely block up that blood vessel and cause a heart attack. Mm -hmm. So I think the longer you subject your blood vessels to higher pressures, the more damage you're going to have, the more likely you are to have a heart attack later in life. If you do have high blood pressure, what should you do? First of all, you have to partner with your doctor. It can be a primary care physician, it can be a cardiologist. Work together to lower your body weight, like we've talked about so many yep. times, exercise, and you may need pills. You may need some drugs to help lower your blood pressure. There's drugs out there that we know will reduce your risk of death if we have you on them uh, in order to control your blood pressure. Bottom line here real quick. Everything needs to be worked out with your physician. You need to make sure if you have blood pressure issues early in life, you need to get intervened on early. It is very, very important. Just as important as managing your cholesterol, not smoking, and all those sorts of things. Get your blood pressure checked and maintain a good, healthy blood pressure. We all just got a little smarter this morning, Doc. <laughs> Thank good you, to sir. see you. Good Thank to you. See you. And of course, if you have a question for Dr. Kevin Campbell, really easy. Log on to our website, WNCN.com. From there, you can find his uh, Facebook page and also hit him up on Twitter.